I thought I would start a playlist where I can show you from time to time some examples of why I like the combination of D3 and Observable so much for teaching. And not just for teaching data science or data visualization, but for other courses as well. So this first example, for instance, I'm teaching a course in algorithms this semester, and we are approaching the quick sort. So we're talking about partitioning an array around a pivot. And so the, I'm showing the, the students how to write a visualization uh, to demonstrate that. Of course, if, if you were teaching such a class, one option would be just to write the visualization yourself and show it as an example to the students or as an illustration to the students. But I think it's even better to show the students how to write it themselves. So anyway, here it is. Uh, I have a slider here where I can generate an array uh, up to 29 elements, uh, uh, something like that, and um, an array of integers. And then I can choose to go through the partitioning algorithm, slow or fast, let's go fast. And then I can partition. And so it demonstrates how it's done. So the pivot here is 75. And so we should end up with all of the numbers that are less than 75 to the left of 75, and all the numbers that are greater than 75 to the right of 75 like this. I can maybe try a couple more here. Oh, that would should be an interesting one. Let's see. Let's try. Yeah, let's try that one. Okay, great. So, and you can also choose to do the uh, partitioning more slowly, maybe to give the students a better idea of what's going on. We want we don't have to go through this whole thing here, but anyway, simply to illustrate something to the students, it's great, and it's even better to have them write the visualization themselves because I think they learn a lot more about the subject that they're working on when they do that. So first example and from time to time I'll, I'll put some other examples up here for you.